Your mind creates your reality. What's going on, church fam? It's Church Life bringing y'all another video. I pray y'all are having a blessed day. So today we're going to talk about how your mind creates the reality that you live in. See, the reason why we got to guard our mind with all diligence is because whatever type of environment that we allow our brain to thrive in, that's going to become the actions that we live out. So if you were in an environment that's filled with bad company, you're going to eventually adopt their ways. But if you keep your mind focused on Lord Jesus and you remain in his presence, you're going to eventually adopt his ways. And that's how you develop a Christ-like mindset. See, whatever our thought process is, eventually we're going to speak what's on our brain. We're going to speak the stuff that's on our mind. So that's why we got to guard our minds. And here's the craziest part about it. Your heart creates the decisions. See, whatever's in your heart, that's what you're going to do. So that's why we got to protect what we allow to be on our brains. Because if we focus in on too much of the wrong stuff, it creates this void that keep us from the heavenly father. See, one of the things I'm learning in life is that we must truly meditate on the word of God because that's how you learn how to walk in the spirit and not the flesh. See, the devil is always searching for a way in because he know if you meditate on the word of God, that's how you build that defense mechanism. That's how you be clothed in humility. That's how you put the full armor of God on. And when you got the full armor of God on, you can deflect whatever fiery darts that the enemy is throwing your way. See, I was looking at the scripture in Joshua 1 verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. So when you meditate on the word of God and you don't depart from his teachings, the word literally says you will have great success and he will make your way prosperous. See, our minds, our thought process is what creates our reality. And whatever's in your heart is what creates the decisions you make. So let's say it like this. Let's start with the mind. If you got fear in your mind, it's because you are around other people that's fearful. You watching this person and that person and that person and that person be fearful for whatever reason. And one thing I can tell you, fear is something that comes from sin. We can go back to Adam and Eve. When the Heavenly Father came to visit them in the garden, they hid themselves because they was fearful behind their actions. They allow the enemy to creep into their mind and make them think about a reality without the heavenly father. So they ended up eating from the tree of knowledge. So if you have fear set upon your thoughts, you're going to be a fearful person. And guess what? You're going to speak curses over your life. You're going to speak certain things that's pertaining to whatever is on your mind, especially if it's something that's pertaining to fear. You fear you can't pay the bills. You fear you can't be healed. You fear all these things that's attached to the world or the flesh. See, the reason why we must meditate on the word of God, because there is power in focusing on 
the heavenly father instead of the world. See, Lord Jesus is the word of God that became flesh. He healed the sick. He healed the blind. He healed the cripple. He broke poverty. He wiped away people's tears. And if you focus on Lord Jesus, that's how you cast out all fear. Because now you're allowing God's love to be made perfect in your life. And if Lord Jesus is the treasure of your heart, that's what's going to produce the fruit of God's harvest to be in your life. See, the devil wants to flood your mind with countless fears, torment, misery, pain. He wants you to fixate your entire life on living without the heavenly father and he wants to corrupt your heart that's why we got to guard our minds and we got to guard our hearts and we do that by meditating on the word of god because if we learn how to speak words of life because god's word is living that's the only thing that can't die and it's god's word lord jesus is god's word that was resurrected on the third day. And if we speak those words of life, that's what's going to make our way prosperous. That's how we find good success. It's through devotion, meditation, and leaving your life in God's hands. Because God is creating a reality for you that has an expected end. He wants you to keep that in mind. It's all about eternal life, y'all. We got a better place to go than the current reality that we're living in now. All we got to do is keep our focus on Lord Jesus because that's how you develop a Christ-like mindset. When you pay attention to how Lord Jesus moved instead of focusing on what's going on in the world. What's the latest news or focusing on who talking about you. The higher the heavenly father bring you, the more people going to talk about you. That's just reality. But it doesn't have to be yours. Focus on Lord Jesus. That's how you protect your mind with all diligence. And so I want to end with this one. Now, this is a powerful scripture, I must say. In Isaiah 26, verse 3, Thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusted in thee. Whenever you keep your mind focused on Lord Jesus, he will keep you in perfect peace because you trust in him. That's one of the most powerful scriptures, I must say. Because it's teaching us how to control our thoughts. How to bring every thought into captivity. So we won't allow intrusive thoughts to enter into our brains. The devil wants to attack your brain because he know every single thing that you think on. If it enters into your heart, that's what's going to control your decisions. That's what's going to lead you away from the heavenly father. That's what's going to torment your life. The issues of life is produced out of the heart. Whatever's in a person's heart. Matthew 6, verse 21. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Wherever your treasure is, there will your heart be also. So the conclusion is this. Your mind creates your reality. 
Because whatever you focus on, that's what you'll become. If you focus on fear, you become fearful. If you focus on hatred, you become hatred. If you focus on this world, you become worldly. But if you focus on God, well, the Bible say God is love. When you focus on Lord Jesus, well, Lord Jesus overcame the world. When you abide in him and he abide in you, you might find peace. But in the world, you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. He has overcome the world. He has overcome fear. He has overcome disease. He has overcome hunger. He has overcome tears. Think about all the things that the Heavenly Father allowed Lord Jesus to overcome. That's why we should focus on Lord Jesus. He said he go to prepare a place for us. So if we follow in Lord Jesus, guess what? We're going to that place that he's preparing for us. That's what your mind should be set on. And that's how your heart will eventually produce the righteousness of God. Instead of feeding into the lies that the world has to offer. Stay focused on Lord Jesus. I pray this bless you in Jesus name. Amen. I love y'all.